Hi, welcome to the part two of the video on getting started with FastAPI and Python. In this part, I'm going to be teaching you about query parameters uh, in FastAPI. So let me actually show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so this is my fast API and this is how you run it in part one. I already talked about that. So I'm not going to talk it again. So Ubicon app is equal to app reload. Sorry for the background uh, music. Sorry for that. Um, so what happens is when I um, click on the send button, um, of course I get hello world, right? Perfect. Now, if I want to pass any query parameters to this, you can simply say name and you can define the type, it's a string, right? <clears throat> and um, let's see, as soon as you do that, uh, this is a required parameter. So, oops, damn it. Okay, so I'm gonna save it, it's gonna reload all the changes and uh, yeah, let's see. So, so a little... Okay, so send a request you get the response, right? But perfect. Now what happens if I don't do it? Like if I don't send the query parameters, what happens? Let me show you that. <clears throat> so here you can see um, it says message field required type value error. So it, it's telling you like query name, uh, that is a required parameter. So you need to supply that. <clears throat> All right. Can we make it optional? Yes, you can. I mean, you can just say like this. Perfect. Run it. Um, send a request. Oops. Do that one. Send it up. And here you can see default value was taken into effect. And if I do pass it, summon a pincha. Perfect. Works fine, right? So this was a short tutorial on query parameters in um, in Fast API. So this is tutorial number two. And in the next tutorial, that would be the last one. We basically, I'll be wrapping up. We'll be basically, what we will be doing is basically, we'll be converting this into a Docker file. So Docker with fast API. Okay, so that's tutorial number three. So hope you have enjoyed the first two part and see you in the part three. Goodbye, ta-da.